Welcome back. Congratulations on getting Marduk installed on your server and you're almost there. There's just a few important configuration settings that we need to take a look at. You're going to find these under the little gear icon here on the top right. So go ahead and click that. And these are the, 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 the settings that we can look at. Now we're not going to look at, at all of these. Um, let me just walk you through a couple of the ideas here. Um, Webhooks uh, allow you to really integrate with external systems because I can post to a certain URL when any of these events happen. So that's um, nice to know about in case you get a little more sophisticated with your modic usage. Um, let's take a look at the things that we do want to change now. Uh, you can add users to your Modic instance. And this is one of the big differences between having it self-hosted and using the Modic hosting is that the free Modic hosting is restricted in the number of, of admin users you can have. You can change the theme, look at some system info, it'll show you your PHP info, etc. Custom fields, you might get into this when you start getting a little more sophisticated and, and you've got to map fields in your proprietary domain. So in your industry, you might have a specific field that you want to track on a contact. So you can just add custom fields over here. Plugins extend the functionality of Modic because you can install new plugins and that could be everything from you know, social media plugin um, to integration to a CRM system and so forth. But anyway, let's go ahead and change the things that we need to change uh, for your fresh Modic install. Over here is the configuration option. So just select that one. And when that loads up, there's just a few things we want to go through and touch on a fresh install of Modic. All right. Um, most of these things you can, I'm on the system settings, uh, top menu level item. Most of this you can change uh, or leave the same, sorry, but uh, you want to change your time zone to your default time zone because um, this, of course, is going to affect the timing of your drip campaigns and so forth. So just uh, find your time zone in this list and uh, select the one that most closely or accurately re represents your time zone. Um, uh, and so I'm in Eastern time, so I'll find the Eastern Standard Time one year. So select your correct time zone year. Um, otherwise, you're going to get very confused when you see uh, when your campaigns fire off. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do there, except for miscellaneous settings. You see this IP lookup service. Um, now, Modic uses MaxMind. Um, what this is going to do is going to find a lot more information about those visitors hitting your site. And uh, it can use IP address lookups to really know more about the visitor. It's, uh, it's a great service. It's free to use within Modic. The only thing is due to a licensing situation, it couldn't actually be bundled inside the Modic uh, installation. So you just got to come here and manually click fetch IP lookup data store and it says success. And so now we've got it. Um, you can come occasionally and update it by just clicking here on the update button. Um, or you can set up a cron job to update it. But you know, generally, this is sufficient. So we've got that uh, set up as well. Outside of that, we want to do the one big change is under email settings. Yeah, you want to make sure there's some things that you need to do set up, uh, you know, now before you start using Modic. Now, currently, I'm sending email through just the PHP mail service. And uh, you can see Modic supports a number of options here. You can do other SMTP service, SendGrid, SparkPost, uh, a bunch of other services, including Amazon's uh, email service. Um, I don't recommend that you use PHP mail for your production site. Um, one, if you're on a shared host, you could probably just end up in spam boxes. Um, plus, it, it's just harder to manage unsubscribes and bounces, etc. So um, if you're going to go the production route, I, I certainly recommend one of these others. Um, and I also do not recommend Gmail just from the way it handles bounces. Um, there's so many good ones. I'm personally using Amazon SES. It takes a little bit more work to set up, um, but other ones that look really good, for example, um, Spark Post. And uh, Modic has built an integration with Spark Post, and you can get started here on their free plan. Um, 
Mailjet, uh, it's another one that Modic's got built-in integration for. So just take a look at the ones that Modic has built-in integration for and find one that works for you. And again, I think it's between Amazon and SparkPost, you're set. Um, and it's much lower cost than using your traditional email provider or email uh, service like Constant Contact or MailChimp, etc. Um, it's gonna be far more cost effective. Um, and uh, it's going to do everything that you need to, including bounce management and so forth. Um, now, the frequency rules, I like to specify um, some frequency. So I'm going to say do not contact more than twice each day. You know, I might even go as once each day. It's just different schools of thought. I'm not a big believer in sending a ton of email to my list. Um, in fact, you know, I might even do once per day so that I don't inadvertently, when I have a campaign, that sending multiple emails and different rules that I don't inadvertently end up, you know, over spamming my contact. Um, so just set whatever you're, you're comfortable with there. Um, now here's the important part, your monitored inbox settings. And this Modic needs to know when an email bounces, because if an email bounces to one of your subscribers, we need to mark that as basically a hard bounce and to do not contact again. And so Modic gives you the ability to specify a mailbox. Here you provide the credentials to that mailbox. So you choose an address and then you choose which folder you want to check. And it's going to constantly check that folder for emails bouncing back. And if they do bounce back, it'll automatically mark the user as, as, as do not contact. And similarly with unsubscribe requests. And um, you know, of course, you, you need to include the unsubscribe footer and you need to honor the unsubscribe request. So you have to see where these unsubscribe requests go and monitor them in the folder. Now, this is all if you're just using the, the PHP email service, because if you're using, for example, you know, Spark Post, um, you set your API key up in there and then you're done. You don't need to worry about setting up these inbox settings because you're not going to monitor for uh, an email in an inbox. If you're using one of these, you know, Amazon or Spark Post, basically they're going to use webhooks and they're going to notify Modic behind the scenes of bounces and so forth. So it's not about monitoring an inbox. So it's a lot cleaner way of doing it. But if you are going to use PHP Mail or Gmail, etc., you need to get this configured uh, and working before you start sending out production emails. Otherwise, you will not be respecting bounces and unsubscribe requests. And that's all you really have to get set up um, as a must have to start using Modic. So in the previous lesson, we installed it. This one, we're just setting up the basic configuration parameters. Um, if you're familiar with Modic already, uh, you might want to create a segment where the filter is bounced emails so that you can easily like delete the bounced emails. So the segment will automatically update each time somebody bounces. Um, if you're not familiar with Modic yet, don't worry about it. You'll learn about segments later um, and, and you can do it later. But just make sure you get these email settings done. And again, my personal recommendation is not to use PHP mail. You can use this just while you're busy testing and playing with Modic. And uh, if you're not sure yet if you're gonna use it in production, um, in which case you don't even have to worry too much about monitoring a bounce or an unsubscribe if it's just you, know, you testing. But once you get a little more serious, look at one of these commercial providers, especially ones that, that have integration already through Modic, and um, it's, it's going to be a lot more convenient to use those. So those are the settings you need. Uh, go ahead and get those completed and uh, share your experiences with different mail providers here and the integration settings and uh, it'll it'll help it'll help all of us uh, who are using modic so now you've done with your setup and uh, you're ready to get going and uh, good luck and enjoy the course <music>